Seven years ago, right? It was seven years ago. We were both looking for new partners. I came to Estonia to try out. Everything was nice, so I stayed there and we started dancing together. Simple as that. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't something like very, very special or some huge story behind that. But it happened that we both lost a partner at pretty much the same time and we were looking for a partner at the same time. So our path just crossed. crossed. It was just good timing. <laughs> He has many things. <laughs> First of all, he is very hardworking. Like, I think he is the, the most hardworking person I, I know. But then he is very kind. Um, he is very helpful. He is very um, caring and very calm. You know, like uh, he never yells at me or something like. He always takes it easy, no drama, so this is really, really nice. Of course, we argue sometimes, but it's not that, that the big scene, you know, yeah, so. If, if, you, if you know her personally, you can just say that she's the most organized, clean person. Not in a bad way, in a very good sense. And this is unbelievable. And I admire this very much because I sometimes I'm the opposite. I like. I played big tennis, but not for a long time. And um, what else? I also had some ballet lessons before dancing. And that's pretty much it. Nothing special. So I didn't know about the ballet. <laughs> But uh, not the belly dance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I used to go. Okay, uh, I went to football for one day. So one day. <laughs> it still counts. That counts. It counts. And uh, then I did cycling sport. Also, like anyway, like cycling sport just. And after this, I also did swimming. I don't know actually. Nice I, outfit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it wasn't something particular like the outfit or, or partners or, or nothing like this. Somehow I just, I didn't feel so well in the swimming lessons. I felt a lot better in the dancing lessons. So that's eventually what decided my... Uh, well, I, I was in the first grade and my friends, my classmates, they just uh, brought me to some dancing lesson one day and I really liked it, so I decided to stay. But I didn't realize that it would be that serious, you know, so I was just going with the flow, you know. <laughs> In elementary school with my best friend, we were just dreaming that she would be a designer and I would be her model. So. <laughs> Typical girls, you know, so nothing, nothing extraordinary. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to be a firefighter, that's what I remember. I used to even draw fire trucks and I was a huge fan of firefighting. I recently talked with one of my friends about what I like to do and the list was so long. And eventually I think I need like 14 lives to accomplish like everything I would want to do. So this is really a difficult question. I really like extreme sports. So this would be one aspect I would, I would have definitely considered. I also would have been maybe a lawyer because I finished also law school. So the options are endless. I think first of all, I would continue studying. I would get another degree and then I would see it, but I think it still will be something connected to art, so, yeah. Anything except tango. 
<laughs> no, it's not that simple. <laughs> no, okay, okay. But uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I somehow agree, but still, sometimes even tango is nice for sometimes. us. Sometimes. Sometimes. Well, I think nowadays you can get inspiration everywhere. It could be like books, movies, music, I don't know, like different places, people. Like, I think I can get inspiration from all of these things. But also, like my personal um, source of inspiration is my mom. She is like the wisest woman alive. So um, I learn a lot from her and she inspires me to be a better person, I think. <laughs> I like I get inspiration from observing other people or their actions or some successful people or their journeys so for me just observation of other people and also like uh, today you can get also inspiration in social media you can follow like all those like interesting blogs famous people just like some individuals and they can inspire you too. Different. <laughs> but I think like my favorite artist is Frank Ocean and maybe Billie Eilish also. <laughs> I actually don't like this question because I, I never know how to answer this. I listen. The specter is so wide and it's very difficult to give a definite answer like what type of music I like. He was like Mozart and then Drake. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Drake, <laughs> Mozart. <laughs> the, everything's fine. <laughs> Definitely black. White. <laughs> Airplane. For me. Easy to go to the competitions. <laughs> A motorcycle. I just love motorcycles. I would like to heal. To be able to heal. That's a good one. Uh, most likely I would like to influence other people with my mind. <laughs> And boy, I believe in us. I am terrified to love. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely some light song and maybe for sure not dramatic. Something mm -hmm. like happy and light. Not too happy. Not too happy. Not too happy, <laughs> but something happy. Yeah. Some of them know. <laughs> she can belly dance, she can do waves. <laughs> and one more. Oh, and yes, this is very loud. She can do animal sounds, especially the dolphin. <laughs> dolphin sounds. And wolf. And wolf, yes. The, the, the <laughs> so this one. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> okay. So we sometimes okay. make fun of that. <laughs> it's funny. He can move his can ears. Move, I can move my ears. You need a close up then. Okay? Done. So I can also move them in sequence, like one year, second year, one year, second year. You know this bank position? He can stay for one hour or even more. <laughs> Airlines losing my luggage. <laughs> This is an endless story with her. <laughs> she has yeah. countless numbers of occasions when they just lose her luggage. And it's like unbelievable, only her, not mine, only hers. Yeah. So that's frustrating for her. <laughs> uh, for me, injustice, definitely. When I feel that something's unfair and it just kills me inside. So that's something I don't like. Many things I, I cannot just point out something. Everything that's sincere, so, like sincere emotion, sincere 
people, this everything can get a sincere reaction and happiness for me. He's, no. defi he's definitely a dog here, but I also have a picture on my phone. I don't know, should I? <laughs> so yeah, this doggy. Well, actually, she's definitely a dog person, like 110% a dog person. Just no. another breed, not this one. Uh, not, not this one, yes. <laughs> a different one. Yeah, because when we even like walk in airports and we just see a dog, <laughs> she just goes, oh, there's a dog, come on, look at that tail. <laughs> Even though I'm allergic. <laughs> Even though she's allergic to dogs, but she loves dogs, so. But I will have one one day for sure, I will. That's why I associate <laughs> her with dogs quite much. <laughs> and I can make a dog sound too. <laughs> yeah, but we will keep it for another interview. <laughs> How much love, support and care we receive from the people who love our dancing is just unbelievable. I think it's like the most exciting thing about our dancing. Like to get this feedback, to get this positive energy from the people, it's... I just can't describe it. It's, it's just very, very precious. And it might sound that it's like so natural that you have fans and at some point, yeah, you don't appreciate that you have them. But every time we go on a comp competition and actually we have all this support, every time it re reminds you that this is like pure gold <laughs> you receive every time. So it's, it's nice emotions. And all this hard work, like, it's worth it <laughs> when you get this. So a shout out to every fan there. Yes. We love you. In your hands.